Hi, welcome back. As you recall from the past video, we are building a multi-cloud business resilient infrastructure that would allow us to maintain business continuity across AWS and Azure. Being Cloud Network Controller, the solution stitching them and allowing us to automate the connection between them and extend security policies across. To build this architecture, we would have to follow these four easy steps. The scope of this session will be focused on the first milestone, deploying Cloud Network Controller on Azure. Following this idea, let's take a look at the building blocks that will be configured. First, we would focus on Azure Cloud. The automated process through the marketplace will launch the Cloud Network Controller. After the controller is spun, we will configure it, and that will deploy the CAT 8000V in charge of the inner connection. If you want to learn more about the inner workings of the deployment, you can visit previous videos in this channel. Now that we know our building blocks, let's check the activities in detail in order to install the solution. We have to follow two easy steps. First, we would install from Azure's Marketplace Cloud Network Controller version 26.0. After completing the wizard with some information, we should proceed to step two. We are going to log in into the controller and complete its wizard to automate the deployment. Now that we have reviewed the steps, let's check the prerequisites to have a successful installation. Prior to launching Cloud Network Controller in Azure, you must validate to comply with the following requirements in your subscription. In the case of Azure, only one account is necessary to implement the discussed use case. Also, keep in mind you must be registered to the following providers. Are you ready? Let's start validating everything that we need. After being logged in into your account on Azure portal, let's click on subscriptions, choose your ID, and then usage and quotas. Now, let's take as an example region East US where we will do our deployment. Let's filter. We apply and we get all the limits for the resources in our account. Let's take as an example the quota name standard DS v3, which is required to have at least 8 vCPUs. In this case, our limit is 20, so we're good to go. Now, we have to check the values for all the resources in the previous table. If for some reason you do not meet a minimum limit, you can request an increase by selecting the quota and click on Request Increase. Now, on the same panel, let's click on Resource Providers and validate the item state is registered as in the previous table. If for some reason any of the providers is unregistered, just click on the row and on the link Register. That should do it. One more thing that we have to validate is that the Catalyst 8000B from Marketplace could be spun programmatically by Cloud Network Controller. Let's check it quickly. Let's click on the Marketplace icon and then search for Catalyst 8000V. Once found, click on the product. Now, from the plan dropdown, let's choose the supported version by Cloud Network Controller 26.0. In this case, we select Cisco Catalyst 8000V Edge Software BYOL 17.07.01A. Once selected, Click the Get Started link to enable the automated deployment. In this new view, ensure the status is enabled. If not, just change the status and click Save. Now that everything is validated and good to go, let's start with the deployment. Something that we must do is create a resource group in order to install a Nest Cloud Network Controller in conjunction with the Catalyst's 8000V. The reason is due to how Azure is architected. In order to deploy this item, we must click the resource group icon and then create link. Set a name, specify the region, in this case, East US. If everything is okay, now we click review create and then create. Now we have a resource group in order to install Cloud Network Controller. Let's go back to home and from there we click on marketplace icon. Now we search in Marketplace for Cloud Network Controller. Once found, we click on it and choose the desired version, in this case, 26.0. We click on Create and that will start the wizard. We just need to fill out information for the Cloud Network Controller deployment. 
From the resource group dropdown, we choose the group created in the previous step. Then, we set up a password for the controller. On the SSH public key source, we choose from the dropdown, use existing public key. With a CLI, we're going to create a key by executing the command on screen and setting up a password. After this process is done, we will execute another command to print it on the console. Then we copy it and paste it back in Cloud Network Controller Azure Wizard. We click Next. We are going to leave everything default and change Infra Subnet. We alter the second octet of the Infra Subnet to 33 just to have something different in each cloud. We are also editing external subnet, which is the ACL that allows us to have reachability to the cloud network controller from anywhere. If you want to be more restrictive, you can do it by setting up an IP or subnet. Then we type on external subnet 0000 slash 0 to have access from anywhere to the controller. We click on review create. We are sent to a summary of the configuration and then we click on create and the process of the deployment starts. Automatically, we're sent to the view where we can monitor the tasks being executed to deploy Cloud Network Controller. After a couple of minutes, the deployment would be complete. After this is done, we click on subscriptions icon to allow some privileges to the Cloud Network Controller and Azure account. The reason being is for Cloud Network Controller to modify the resource groups and subscription where it is installed and change the network construct on Azure based on our configurations. Once in the subscription, we click on the menu Access Control IAM, then add Role Assignment. Once in the next view, we click on Link Privilege Administrator Roles, which is Contributor, Next, Let's select the Manage Identity Radio button. After that, select Members. From the new panel, let's change Manage Identity dropdown to Virtual Machine and then select dropdown to Cloud Network Controller VM. After those changes are done, let's proceed to Review and Assign. The role has now been added. Now let's log into Cloud Network Controller and configure it. From the Home menu, let's click the Virtual Machine icon and copy the IP address that was assigned to the controller's machine. Once that is done, open a browser and paste the IP address in a HTTPS format. Accept the certificate and log into the Cloud Network Controller, providing as username admin and the password on the previous wizard that configured the controller. Click Login. To start the configuration, click on the Let's Go button and then on Begin First Time Setup. Now remove the pop-up by pressing the Let's Get Started button. The first thing that we are going to set up on the controller is the DNS and NTP servers. To do that, click on the Edit Configuration button. We have to add at least one DNS server and one NTP server. First, we add the DNS configuration by clicking the Add DNS Provider link. We type a known IP for the service and click on the check mark to accept. Now we configure NTP by clicking on the Add Providers link and typing a server address. To commit, click on the check mark. Once finished, click on Save and continue to proceed with the configuration process. Our second step is to set up the region management for the Cloud Network Controller. This is fundamental to interconnect Azure to other clouds and control the policies to the VMs. Let's begin. Since we are having everything configured on East US, network construct automation and VMs with our application, we are only going to set up Cloud Network Controller in this region. So we only select on East US the automated deployment of Catalyst 8000V. We click OK to accept the changes. Next, to follow with our configuration, we would have to add two more subnets. The first pair would be utilized for the CAT 8000V on Azure, the third subnet for the network load balancer balancing them. To configure them, we click on the Add Subnet Pool for Cloud Routers. In order to be consistent, we will just alter the third octet of the address, maintaining the same mask. Now we configure the BGP Autonomous System number. It has to be different in every Cloud Network Controller configuration. Make sure Assign Public IP to Catalyst 8000V interface is checked. We now set up the username and password for the Catalyst 8000V routers. 
Just remember, admin is not an eligible username for this configuration. In this case, we will set up Cisco as a username. We have to confirm the password. The next configuration is in charge of setting the bandwidth of the interconnection between clouds or regions. In this case, we will choose the 50 meg throughput. Leave the rest of the configuration as default and click next. This is the last part of the configuration. We get a summary of everything that will be deployed automatically and so we must accept the naming convention for the process to start. Save and continue. As soon as we get all the check marks, we click done. Now we click on go to dashboard to finalize the process. As you can see on the summary, Cloud Network Controller automated the process of creating one virtual network in Azure, which is the overlay. It is in charge of the interconnection between clouds and regions. Still, there are no Catalyst 8000V deployed. Let's go and see the status. To do that, we click on the left side menu on infrastructure, inter-site connectivity, and scroll down to view that our deployment has not been started. This is normal. We just have to give it a couple of minutes to begin. After a brief time has gone by, we can go back and check. Logged in into Cloud Network Controller, we revisit the left menu, then click on Infrastructure, Inner Site Connectivity. After that, we scroll down on the view. As you can see, the pair of Catalyst 8000V have been successfully deployed. Shifting gears, we can change to Azure's console and review the Virtual Machines menu. We can observe that we have two machines that automatically spawn, which are Catalyst 8000V. If we copy the IP of one of them, we can connect to it via CLI, using the username provided on the previous wizard on Cloud Network Controller with the respective password. If we enter the following command, we can see that all our interfaces are up and running. Also, if you notice that interfaces are using the subnet 10.33 assigned in the Cloud Network Controller configuration wizard, meaning Cloud Network Controller is completely deployed and ready to be managed by Nexus Dashboard Orchestrator in order to extend policies across clouds, for this case, AWS. Now, if we go back to Cloud Network Controller's console, we can validate that everything is up and running, including the CAT 8000V we just saw on Azure's console. This means that all of our configurations have been successful and that we are ready to move to the next part of the implementation of our use case. Simple, huh? Thank you for making it all the way through. As part of this series, we will follow with step two, which is installing Cloud Network Controller on AWS. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.